I want to bring our Mike Wise into the conversation because Mike, you had a personal connection to Kobe Bryant. You've known him since we first <laughs> knew his name from the beginning. I was covering the NBA uh, for the New York Times. They sent me out to Los Angeles to do a profile of this 19 year old wonderkind uh, in his first all-star game in New York. And he was the first and still remains the first to be a starter uh, in, in at 19. He takes me around in his BMW. We go around LA. He, uh, he tells me all these wonderful things about all these positive things in his life. And through the ups and downs, and I mean, I covered everything. Mm -hmm. I remember asking him 18 years later uh, during his farewell tour, what'd you, you know, if you, were the, uh, if you were the Shawshank Redemption character at the end, uh, Ellis Boyd, and the parole officer, what would you say to another young Kobe Bryant when you were older? He said to me, it doesn't really matter because I wouldn't have listened. <laughs> and that was who Kobe was. And I, his fearless determination to erase what people thought about him mm -hmm. during the Colorado sexual assault charge, out of respect for the victim and Kobe, I, I'm, not going to, um, I'm not going to pronounce guilt or innocence on anyone. I'm going to say this. He worked so hard, Leslie, to dispel the perception about him. And in many ways, he did. I feel like he did. You think about... Uh, Kobe and his family and the loss of now nine lives in this plane extraordinary loss and uh, our hearts just go out to the Bryant family and to the other families and really all of the people who had a connection to them none of us thought this would be the day and 41 years would be the end for Kobe Bryant no yeah. I, you know what I thought I thought that he'd have many more years with his daughter coaching her taking her to games um, and it's it's awful. That's how it should have been. Yep. All right, Mike, thank you. Thanks.